Red Bulls coach Jesse Marsh picked up another win over NYCFC in the U.S. Open Cup Wednesday. Bill Kistern in the boardroom, New York City FC is property of City Football Group and the Yankees. On the field though, they have been owned by the rival Red Bulls. For the second straight year, the Red Bulls knock NYCFC out of the U.S. Open Cup. And for the second straight meeting, they rolled to a 4-0 route this one a fourth-round laugher before a crowd of 9,496 at Red Bull Arena, keeping up their winning ways in the Hudson River Derby. The Red Bulls got a brace by Daniel Royer and goals from Victor Bezicord and Aaron Long, and a clean sheet from keeper Ryan Mira in the defense. It lifted the Red Bulls into the fifth round, and improved their all-time record against NYCFC to 8-3-1. NYCFC had to listen to the South Ward taunting them with chants of, Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? If NYCFC have nightmares, one has to wonder what turns up more frequently, Red Bull Arena or the US. Open Cup? Despite coach Patrick Vieira limiting star David Villa to just a 25-minute cameo on Saturday with an eye toward this game, NYCFC fell to 1-6, one all-time in Harrison. Among the losses, they were beaten 4-0 earlier this season and eliminated from last year's Open Cup. Shockingly, NYCFC have lost all four of their Open Cup games. The first two came at the hands of the second division NASL New York Cosmos. Both sides were heavily depleted Wednesday, with the hosts losing Kaku, Tyler Adams, Tim Parker, Michael Murillo and backup Felix Escobar to World Cup duty. NYCFC lost Costa Rica national team members Rodney Wallace and Ronald Matarita, and saw Cedric Countunji forced off in the sixth minute with an injury. By then, the Red Bulls already had taken a lead and NYCFC had absorbed a blow to the gut. Bezacourt ran into the gap between the midfield and the back four, took a pass from fullback Kemar Lawrence and made a great turn to his left. The 24-year-old French midfielder, who spent much of last season with Red Bulls 2 before carving out a role on the big club's bench this year, fired home his first goal and gave them a lead just 1.56 into the game. Some last-ditch defending, Lawrence making a sliding 30-second-minute block, and Cameroonian teenager Hassan Ndam saving a Villa trickler off the line, kept that scoreline through the first half. The Red Bulls doubled it early in the second, when Long out jumped Jesus Medina and another NYCFC player to head home Mark Ritkowski's 57th minute corner kick. Royer added his brace in the waning moments. Some shoddy marking left him alone in space on the left side of the box for an 87th minute tally. He fired home a loose ball two minutes later for the final margin, and to keep New York red for another year. The Red Bulls, who reached last year's Open Cup final, will find out their fifth-round foe, Louisville, D.C. United or Philadelphia, in a draw Thursday. NYCFC heads home to lick their wounds, ponder what went wrong, and get ready for next weekend's huge MLS battle with table-topping Atlanta.